There we go. We are done with cleaning up the toilets. Anyhow, whatever, 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 whatever fun beans can we do on floor four? Oh, hey, there's a nice little hole in here. Hmm. Well, we climbed up from that pipe, so this way leads somewhere new. Ah, uh, yes. The cable room, but it is locked, and we need a battery to access it. This is the final battery that we actually need. I forgot about that. So now I can show what happens when we go down here. We skid out, and back to these two split-up pads. Well, we're gonna need just Banjo. I believe the last battery was on... It's either on floor 3 or floor 2. But now that we have warp pads, it shouldn't be a big deal. I think it was floor 3. Aha, here it is. I'm like, I know the battery was near Bumbo's skull. I took the entire way around floor 3 before I actually found it. Here we go. In. In the pack. Get in the pack, son, and no one has to get hurt. Alright. Power up. Additional battery power channel to door. Access is now granted. I think we get this nice little swap cloud here. See, so we should be able to run over really easily. I love how fast Kazooie is by herself. I do not like how just Kazooie by herself has almost no HP. And Kazooie can't climb the pole, but what she can do... A shock jump disc! <laughs> Suck, Banjo! Alright, off to the cable room. Floor 4, cable room. So, there's this electricity passing for all of these cables, and it's very dark. I don't know how Grunty was able to get this to bypass all the safety standards. Ouch. Ouch. Extractor fan not required. So remember that switch over there. Now we're going back here and- Oh look, this looks familiar. It's the floor for quality control room that we were in with the uh, washing machine. Ooh, I hear a Jinjo. And it's definitely not a Minjo, right? Nope, it's a Minjo. I'm pretty sure the last Jinjo we have to get is through that closed door on the fire escape. I don't think we ever got it. Yeah, so what we want to do here is use grenade eggs to blow up the rareware barrels. And we do not want to blow up the toxic gas barrels. For obvious reasons. <laughs> And as we blow up the rare rare barrels, they will start uh, being more clustered together. Meaning it's easier for you to accidentally shoot the toxic gas barrels. Oh boy. Uh oh. Toxic gas alert! All personnel evacuate and activate the extractor fans! One barrel of toxic gas will deplete your air meter like that. As you saw, we barely got out of there without actually getting uh, starting to lose our HP. And if you, as you know me, I don't like losing my Harry Potter. Initiate detoxifying sequence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is now safe to re-enter. Once all the toxic gas is in the room, all they have to do is just blow it out. Blow it outside, and then it's nature's problem, right? I don't know why they have a conveyor belt just of toxic gas going by, but... Oh, well. 
I guess Grunty's entitled to make what she wants in her own factory. Nope! <laughs> Thankfully, you don't have to restart and destroy all of those railway barrels again, but destroying them when they're that clustered together is difficult. It's a good thing the extractor fans work so well. Alright. There we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. Great. <laughs> Man, floor four is the floor where they keep all the toxic gas, apparently. First, the poop smelled so bad that people had to get out before they died. And now it's just like, Grunty is making toxic waste. Blow it up and you will die very fast. Things I do for a jiggy man. Oh, come on, really? What the, what the heck? The camera did a 180 just to make me die. You all saw that, right? The camera literally did a one. I did not change direction that I was moving. I literally was just holding down on the control stick while holding Z so I could talent drop. Camera completely 180 just to force me away from the door and kill me. Wow. I have no words. Alright, before we go back to the quality control room, we're gonna get that Jinjo in the fire escape. That's fairly involved to get for just a single Jinjo, but we're gonna do our best. So first you need to split Banjo and Kazooie up. We're gonna go up to floor two and then take the back way out of the floor two exit to floor one. And we do need to split them up. And unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's not really any split up pads that are close enough. So we have to use the one on floor one. Or rather, the one on floor one is just the most convenient to use. Get out of my way, Tin Tops. We go down to floor one behind the window that nobody can break. And then take the fire exit. This switch, we hold it down and then that fire door up at the top of the fire exit will open up. Now enter Kazooie. Now, I suppose we could just use the flight pad to get there quickly, but I'll show you what the developers wanted you to do. Because it is more fun this way. back here. The so banjo's just kind of chilling out on the switch. We're gonna go over here, break open this, and grab the claw clamber boots. Make very careful sure that you don't go into the toxic goop. Instead we walk over here and we're gonna scale up this wall. And bada beam bada boom, we get the purple ginger and we still have three left in the game. And this is why we activated the fallproof cheat. Well, one of many reasons why we activated the fallproof cheat. Nice job, Banjo. Nice job, Kazooie. All right, let's try our luck in the cable room again. Slash the quality control room. I can't remember if you actually have to push the fan again. Yep. If you don't push that fan again, it, it'll still remember that it, the room was toxic for when you died in it, so. Oh, thankfully, it also remembers how many rareware barrels we've destroyed. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, see, it keeps trying to turn the camera away from it, just so you, that you'll fail. I need to start shooting those grenade eggs a bit earlier. The timing on this can be a little bit tricky. There we go. And that'll dump a jiggy back there. Yeah, remember that door we entered with the washing machine? Yeah. We're gonna have to go back there again, unless we can fire a clockwork egg. We can't. Or maybe we can, but I'm not gonna try. Yeah, unfortunately, we now do have to turn back into a washing machine, go back to floor four, enter through that door again, just so we can grab that jiggy. But it's okay, because we actually have to use the washing machine again anyways, so we'll just grab it on the same trip. Anyhow, there's still a, quite a bit more to this level, but most of it we can't do until we get some future moves. Or I'll, I'll clarify that by saying we are not supposed to be able to do it still until we get some more moves. So that's just fine by me. Uh, one of the few things we can do now is we can activate that second mumble pad. Remember, the other mumble pad is also timing based, so we gotta play as mumbo and then really quickly explore what happens as a result of his change. So. Mumble jumble, ikum bokum. You want Mumble's help again? Yes, please. I think this is the first time we've actually had to use Mumbo twice. Like, play as Mumbo two different times. As opposed to just getting all of the Mumbo pads done in a single go. It's because Grunty Industries is special. Alright, let's head on over to floor two. And once again, we're going to take this secret vent passageway that we opened up as Banjo and Kazooie. Gonna take it to this toxic goop room. Because that's a shortcut to the electromagnetic chamber. Which is where this mumble pad was. And if you'll remember, we had to drill a panel on floor free in order to drop the mumble, uh, the mumble pad down. Yep, see it's on this panel. Yo, I hope this works. And the electromagnet. So that electromatic was being kind of a butt and not letting us push the switch as washing machine, banjo. Magnet malfunction, auto-fixing program initiated. Magnet will be reactivated in 90 seconds. So thankfully we've got to double the time here compared to the amount of time that we had with regards to the wall crushers. Unfortunately, we also have to travel a good bit further. It's not right next to the warp pad. Also, if you'll remember, Banjo-Kazooie couldn't push that switch anyways, so what we have to do is we have to quickly warp back to Mumbo's skull, turn back into Banjo and Kazooie, then warp back to Wumba's wigwam, turn back into the washing machine, quickly go to the electromagnetic chamber, and then push the switch while the magnet is still amped in order to actually push it down all the way. That is a lot of work to go through to push just one single switch. Makes you wonder what the heck it's gonna do, huh? All right. Washing machine is gonna hurry to the electromagnetic chamber. We should make it with plenty of time to spare. But still, this is a ton of work to go through in order to just push one switch. So this better be worth it. What the heck is Grunty so worried about this switch for? Makes a spark go up this cable. Oh yeah, remember the terrifying fire door? Back in the repair depot? Finally opening it up. The scary door is now open, and it's open for good. Oh my. Are we brave enough to go through there and see what's back there? <laughs> well, before we do that anyways, we gotta go up to floor four to grab that jiggy from the quality control room. 
And we can't warp past, so we gotta use the ever so wonderful service elevator. This really is such a well-designed world, though. Access granted. Back in the quality control room. There's our jiggy. It's always kind of baffled me that there's a shock jump disc back here. Like, is there actually a way to get back here as Banjo and Kazooie? I don't think there is. I guess, oh, I, oh yeah, there actually, there technically is. Oh, that's actually really cool. When you get a new move as Kazooie in a future world, there actually technically is a way to get back here. They don't intend for you to get back there, but they also realize that it was possible. So as a result, they put that there just to make sure you wouldn't trap yourself. That's really cool. Alright, well... Scary Door of Death is down here in the air conditioning plant. And this is the last fane we can explore in Grunty Industries for now. Basement air conditioning plant. Oh boy. This factory doesn't really care about safety standards or health or any of that, and yet even they thought it would be a good idea to keep this door closed and to guard the switch to this door by all means necessary. What the heck could lie beyond here? Basement, the repair depot. There's a Cheeto page all the way over there. And a spinning dome, or the spinning tube. She's gonna throw us off. And that's not good, the door closed behind us. What on earth is that? Uh, I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor fiend struggles to get in here? Well, this shouldn't be much trouble then. It's the most difficult boss in the game to reach. Weldar, the visually impaired welding torch. Ahem, I believe it states quite clearly in the worker's guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. So this is Weldar. He's a giant welding torch, and he is probably the toughest boss in the game other than the final boss. Time to turn up the power dial, I think. So he'll hop around and shoot fireballs at us. And now try to suck us in. You'll have to come closer. I can't seem to hit you. Blech. Shoot a fire egg in him. Blech. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. You can shoot either a fire egg or a grenade egg in him. How about a few nuts and bolts? Yeah, so while there is actually quite a hectic fight, it throws a lot of stuff at you, and if he succeeds in swallowing you when he does this swallow attack, he reduces your HP to 1. So do not let him swallow you. Perhaps if I used my weight a little more... Alright, Talon trot away from him. His crush attack deals a ton of damage, too. Don't make me come after you! You definitely want to keep your distance from this guy. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. 
So now the floor gets electrified and it becomes a lot nastier to dodge some of his attacks. This fireball attack isn't too bad, but... Um, yeah, it can be very difficult to Talon Trot and out of that and then actually hit him. And now we have one. Hit. No, never mind. Oh, that's right. It's not his, his Devour attack. It's his Smash attack where he lands on you from the ceiling. That's what causes the, like, all the one hair HP to be lost. Camera, work with me, please. Not now. Yeah, once once he turns the floor electric, uh, the fight becomes significantly more difficult. All right, he has one HP left, but we're at two HP. And now he's doing his ceiling attack. We have to run like the Dickens. Yeah, this guy is so difficult to reach and uh, figure out how, how to reach him. I literally didn't even know he existed on my first playthrough. Oh, he can't even suck us up from this far away. Haha, <laughs> eat fire! Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. Oh, and he just destroyed that whole switch. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Oh. Well, we just destroyed the air conditioning plant. So the air conditioning will no longer work in the entire building. I really hope they're not working in a place that has hot summers. Or, you know, that has any, like, machines that heat up. Which they do. They have an entire coal plant in here. Well, we just destroyed the air conditioning and somehow we're the hero. Oh no, he's still alive, but he's just a head. Ugh. I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? <sighs> I guess I can let you have this. <laughs> no, Jiggy. <laughs> Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding! You may use it to get back out. I stashed my Jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping, but... There's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. No! When will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? I would say he's the most legitimately difficult regular boss of the game. I mean, I obviously had a hard time with Lord Wu Fak Fak, but... Also, that was just because Lord Wu Fak Fak was not a greatly designed boss fight. So we can shock jump disc up to this ladder and then climb out of the repair depot. That's an awesome fight, though. One of my favorites. Very hectic, very difficult, but very fun. A good challenge. A very good challenge. And what a, what a unique and cool design he has. Who... <laughs> a giant welding torch who's sent sentient is already a weird idea for, like, a villain. But the fact that he also has bad eyesight, too, <laughs> makes him even better. It also makes sense, because if his eyes are located on his torch and he's constantly spewing, like bright blue flames. That makes sense that he's constantly getting blinded by his own welding abilities. There's our Cheeto page. And I do believe that is the last one for the level. Yeah, he's also the only boss- well, one of the only bosses in the game that doesn't flat out give you a Jiggy immediately after defeating him. But he does give you the ability to reach a Jiggy. So now we can cross this tube that was normally spinning, go back here, and use it to reach ourselves a jiggy. And we're behind this giant fan. And remember this door that we couldn't quite reach because the fan kept pushing us back? Let's see what's in here. We're back in the basement waste disposal plant. However, here we're in a different area. It doesn't seem to be physically connected at all to the other part of the waste disposal plant. And there's a lot of acid here. Yowch! And if you look, yes, there is a Jiggy down there. If we fire a Clockwork Egg... We cannot grab the Jiggy because the Clockwork Egg will immediately 
blow up as soon as it hatches. So, we actually can't do anything here. There are split-up pads here, but Banjo and Kazooie by themselves right now cannot reach this Jiggy, so we'll have to come back for that later. And that should be everything that we can do in Grunty Industries for now. As of now, if we look at our totals... We have 8 out of 10 Jiggies, all of the notes, all of the Hollow Honeycomb pieces, all of the Jinjos, all the Cheeto pages, all the Glows, and all of the Jam Jars silos. So we are missing two Jiggies. One of the Jiggies is right here in this room, and then the other Jiggy is also in the Waste Disposal Plant underneath that glass cage. Neither of which we can get right now, or rather, neither of which we're supposed to be able to get right now, so we're going to have to come back to those for a future day. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoyed this series going through Grunty Industries. If you tune in next time, we will be opening up World 7, which, while many people consider that to be one of the best worlds in the game, I consider it to be one of the worst, and I also consider it to be far more difficult than Grunty Industries, but I'll get into that when we actually reach there. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.